So I, I thought we had a strong weekend of special teams, uh, particularly in the power play. We had four power play goals, and that, that was positive. We're doing a pretty good job generating chances. Uh, we need to simplify it at times and, and be a little bit less key with the puck and just get pucks to the net. And that was uh, Diego's goal. Uh, we handled their pressure well, moved it around, got a good puck to the net with taking the goalie's eyes away, and Diego found the rebound uh, for a nice goal, his first career goal. So that was a, a nice goal. Uh, I thought our penalty kill was strong all weekend. We gave up one power play goal against, and that was more often of an individual breakdown where we got beat on the rush versus anything structurally. So I think our special teams has really shored up uh, the last few weeks and been much improved, and that, that's a, a big boost for us. Um, you know, they're, they're tough uh, in a lot of ways, but particularly because we outchanced them both nights. Uh, we won the special teams battle both nights, and, and, and typically you're going to win that hockey game. Uh, on Friday night, we gave up two face-off goals against, and they were came off one draws, which is even more disturbing. Um, you know, but just a sense of urgency and, and toughness to, to win our 50-50 battles has to improve. Um, you know, I think our, our goaltending battle, like we have to be, we have to look down the ice, and our goalie has to outperform the guy in front of him, or at least match what he's doing. And we're not doing that consistently enough. Uh, obviously, in Bowling Green, you saw that with Gordy's performance. Uh, but you know, we need to we need to win the goalie battle every night to be successful, and uh, we weren't. Able to do that this weekend and I think it was a, a big piece of what happened um, it's not just under goaltenders you know the the first goal on Saturday night came off a defensive turnover and then it was a you know kind of a non-dangerous shot that, that found its way in so a lot of areas to clean up uh, you know we're, we're, we're doing some things well uh, but it's not enough you know we need everybody going every night to, in order to be successful well, the biggest way to combat is not give anything up. You know, uh, we can't outscore our mistakes, and, and that's cost us the last few home weekends. You know, we're, we're giving up. Uh, you know, give the other team credit for sure for working and making it happen. But uh, you know, we're we're making it too easy to score. Whether it's uh, an easy goal on our goaltenders, turnovers from uh, our defensemen, forwards not sprinting back into spots and be either a breakout option or helping shut plays down. It's too easy. And uh, you, we, you can't outscore your mistakes at this level, so we've got to do a much better job that way. Uh, like I said, offensively, our power play is starting to generate more. Five on five, we have to do a better job uh, creating offense. It would be nice at some point, uh, I think we've had about eight or nine posts the last two three weeks, and none of them have found their way in the net. Uh, but we also have to create our own puck luck by playing harder around the offensive net. We've got to get more bodies to the net and, and find second chance opportunities and be willing to pay the price there. And it's something we haven't done a good enough job on, and as coaches, you know, we're addressing it practice for sure. Uh, you know, I, I, there's a lot of a lot of things it is. It's on coaching. Uh, certainly, a uh, young team is part of it. Getting used to the the pace and then the, the physical strength of your opponents you're playing. Um, a lot of it boils down to the individuals performing as well. You know, guys have to have a, a feel for the danger around them to protect their hands, protect the puck uh, when players are around them, and, and be heavy plays. You know, we we've got to play heavy with the puck and not turn it over. And um, you know, certainly Huntsville, we had three three bad turnovers that led to goals. Uh, we had two uh, this weekend once again that led to easy goals and uh, it's just you're not going to be successful if you can't take care of the puck and so as individuals as coaches we have to do a better job in, in putting our guys in situations to to learn from that and to not allow that to happen we're banged up uh, you know we've had uh, quite a few guys miss practice this week some of them are are held out just uh, for precautionary reasons to give them an extra day or two to heal up. Some guys are, are probably not available this weekend. So yeah, we're still a little bit thin back there. Um, you know, with the uh, departure of a defenseman uh, due to due to playing opportunities and, and some injuries, we're a little bit thin back there as well. But uh, it just leads for opportunities. You know, we have good depth up front this year. Um, we were pretty deep on the back end until the departure, so uh, it's fine. You know, it's it's part of the game. Uh, we've got to move forward with it, and then the guys who are playing have have to play you know when you get your opportunity you have to take advantage and um, I don't think we've done a good enough job across the board of that some guys who have gotten their opportunity um, you know they might be good one night and they're back down the next night you have to perform every single night and uh, if we're gonna turn this around that's what we need we need all 20 guys going on a given night